All right, we talked a little bit about volleying. How did I get to the net? Well, I just didn't start walking up there in the middle of the point. What I'm doing is uh, battling points out from the baseline. If I feel that I can get an edge, hit a good shot into a corner, get my opponent on the run, I'm going to decide to take the net because I feel I can win the point on the next shot with a volley, or at least set up the point for a winning combination. So, the best way to get up to the net is with a good approach shot. If your opponent hits a short ball, my objective is to get up to that short ball. I have an advantage now. If I'm playing a ball from here and the ball's sitting up, I can now attack the corners of the opponent's court a lot quicker. I'm a lot shorter distance to those corners. So I, I feel if I can put a, a good offensive shot into a corner, make it difficult for my opponent, then I've done my job on the approach shot. Remember the approach shot does not have to be a winning shot. The approach shot is used to set up a winning volley or overhead if your opponent feels he has to try to lob you to win the point. So the approach shot is a setup shot. I suggest you hit the ball firmly, uh, take shorter back swings on the approach shot. Keep in mind your footwork coming up to the ball has to be especially good so that you don't hit it into the net or pop it up. There's going to be a lot more nervous tension going on here on an approach shot because I think you're you're getting to that point where you sense that a confrontation is about to happen. If you do your job on the approach shot, it's going to make your job easier to volley the ball away. If you do not do your job, you're up at the net and your opponent has several options to pass you. I certainly think about this one point. If I'm hitting my approach shot, I want to make it very difficult for my opponent to hit an easy lob over my head. If, if I hit the wrong approach shot and he gets there in time, he can easily lob over my head. So I'm, I'm trying to put him in a very tough position on the defense. And um, I'll demonstrate this approach shot for you, okay? What I'm trying to do on this approach shot too is get my feet in good position to execute this shot. And I realize it's a challenge, so I've, I've got to really be alert on this. I'm going to try to move through the ball. There it is. Beautiful approach shot. Get into position. I always have to cover the down the line shot first if the ball has been punched down the line. The cross court shot is a little diff more difficult for my opponent because I can stretch out and pick that shot off moving forward and hitting the opening. All right, let's try another one here. Here we go. On the forehand side, hopefully I spot the short ball. I come up to the ball. Hit a nice firm approach shot, move into the net, ready position, split the feet, and get ready for the hardest shot of your life. Yep. On that side. Okay, let's try one more. You notice the short back swing when I come up. I place my racket out in front of me. I move up to the ball with very short steps. It's more of a baseline shot. I'll put that back. Remember, it's got to be pretty short, otherwise I'm going to stay back. Here's an approach shot. Boom! Into the corner. Follow the ball. If you're, if you're hitting your approach shot on the left side of the court, you must cover this side of the court. Same side as the ball. All right, nice little low one here now. Yeah. Oh, perfect. There we go. Made sure I cleared the net on that, didn't I? Again, get that good volley position up there. You may, it, it, it's a little bit like picking up a, maybe a soda can on the way to the net. You'd have to, you'd have to pause or downshift to pick up that can. So your hand is right there to pick up the can, which would be the execution phase of the shot. Get back up, get good position at the net, the approach shot, one of the most important shots in the game. Try to place most of your approach shots. For my money, I'd like to get most of my approach shots into the backhand side of the court. It's a lot tougher to pass somebody if you do your job, get it into that backhand corner. If you hit into their forehand side, uh, you could expect a much tougher volley at the net. All right.